Hi, yeah, I'm Brad. I've done a few uh, tutorials you might have seen on anodizing. Well, I hope you have seen them if you're watching this one, to be honest, because we're going a little bit further this time. I'm going to show you how to anodize in multi colors. Um, this is predominantly done by paintballers. You'll see a lot of paintball guns where they've stripped the anodizing off them and they splash reds over them and blues and greens and all these colors and everything. But I, I'm not into the splashed look. Um, same method still applies, but generally what you do with um, splash anodizing is you anodize your piece, you dye it a color, you bring it back out, you spray like a lacquer as a pattern, a swirly pattern all over it, you dip it in and the parts that aren't sprayed in lacquer will uh, come off and then you can uh, dye that part again and then you can apply another mask to it and then so on and so forth and you end up with lots of swirly patterns of different colours all over it. And to me, I think it looks rather messy. So I want to take it a step further. I want to show you how to anodize text. So you can put people's names on things or, you know, whatever you like, you know, captions or pictures. You know, as long as it's a silhouette or an outline or then uh, you shouldn't have too much of an issue. But um, obviously a picture with detail, you yeah going to struggle to pull off really. I guess you might be able to do it to a degree, but uh, I'll let you experiment with that. I've got enough on my plate. So uh, without further ado, let's crack on, shall we? So I'm not going to go on and go through the whole process of anodizing with you because I'm hoping you've actually watched the last two tutorials I've done, or three tutorials, and that goes through the basic setup of um, your acid bath and your piece and cleaning it and anodizing it and so on. So you should now be at the point where your part is in the acid tank um, or you've taken out the acid tank and you've just put it into distilled water. You haven't yet dyed it, you certainly haven't sealed it and uh, you're not at the point where you want to add a bit of colour. Okay, so what we're going to do today is I've just finished making a diving rattle. And a diving rattle is for scuba divers. Uh, we take it down in the water and we give it a shake and it makes a rattling sound and alerts any divers in the area to that we're after their attention. Um, so what I plan on doing is putting BAD down the actual piece, uh, which stands for Blackpool Area Divers. And um, so what I'm going to do is dye it blue, mask out the letters BAD on the piece, remove the blue colour and then dye it black. And what that should do is underneath the masked letters we'll leave the blue ink and everything else will be black. So we'll then have BAD in a nice blue colour and the rest of the whole piece being black. So uh, without further ado, let's give that a go, shall we? Okay, first and foremost, remember safety. Get your gloves on, get your eyeglasses on just in case you splash any acid when you're taking the piece out of the bath. Uh, let me just get this out. There we go, one piece, or two pieces in fact, there's the top, there's the actual body of the piece here, and uh, there's the jig. I'm just going to give that all a rinse off and get all of that acid off. Um, what you will need for doing multicolor anodizing is bleach, and it's bleach is all we use to destroy organic dyes. Um, one thing I will say is don't really do what I'm doing here because I do have a bowl of bleach and I also have my anodizing tank and you don't want sulfuric acid anywhere near bleach because if you mix the two together you get chlorine gas and uh, I'm sure we all agree we do not want any chlorine gas in the workshop so uh, keep it well apart you know once you've finished using one and uh, you know put that one away and then get the other one out but um, let me just get this piece off There we go, right, so I'm just going to uh, drop that into the, this is just distilled water in there, it just stops the anodized layer taking up anything which I don't want it to. And uh, while that's there, I'm going to put this anodizing tank away. The last thing I really want is a big tub of acid in my face. Okay. Voila. So, first step. So like I said, what we're going to do first is dye it blue. This is going to be our base colour. So doing the old blue Peter, here's some I prepared earlier. 
it's been heated up to around about 30 degrees. You can see a nice little bit of steam vapor coming off that. I'm just gonna drop it in here. Now this won't take too long, because don't forget, we're not really, well, it's up to you how long you want to leave it in. It's obviously the longer you leave it, the darker the shade is, but as I'm going black, I don't really want a too dark of a blue, because I want the contrast to stand out from each other. So, uh, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? So what we'll do, we'll just leave this in here for a few minutes until it's the right shade of blue and we shall take it out and move on to the next step. Okay, so that's uh, been in there long enough now. It's a lovely colour blue, look at that. So uh, what we're going to do now is move on to the next step. Give it a shake, get all of the dye off it or as much of it as what you can. Now, we need to dry it to a degree. So what we're gonna do is just, I've got some paper towel here. Now remember, this piece isn't sealed. Okay, so it will still suck up anything foreign. So this is why I'm wearing gloves. I don't want the oils on my fingers getting sucked into the piece. Um, one thing I will say here is, yes, I'm only putting BAD on this uh, the long piece here. I'm not putting anything on this top piece, but the reason I'm doing both pieces together is to make sure the colors match at the end of it. Because if there's still a bit of blue mixed in with the black, it might look different to what it would have been if it was just plain black. And the uh, last thing I want to do is have two different coloured pieces. So, there we go, it's nice and dry. Right, so what we do now is we take our mask. Now here's my masks, and what I use is vinyl. Now, I have a bloke on eBay, and I send him a list of the words I want and he cuts them out on vinyl for me. Now what's important with vinyl cutouts is to make sure it doesn't actually have a background. And as you can see here, all of the uh, letters are actually separate. So it doesn't actually have a white background or anything. And this is perfect for what we need. And as you can see here, I've actually got three different fonts. And uh, it's this side here, which I'm actually gonna try and use today. So what we're gonna do is just peel off these vinyl stickers and push them onto the piece nice and firmly. So without further ado, let me get these three stickers stuck on here. Now as you can see, I'm using a pair of tweezers because this can be a little bit fiddly with your fingers. The last thing you want is the sticker sticking to your gloves. Again, a nice firm press to make sure that's pushed down nice and tight. Now, there's a bit of a knack to this, getting your letters straight. Don't be scared if you have to peel a sticker off and pick a nice clean bit. It is a little bit difficult though. Bear in mind that um, any adhesive left over from the sticker could be a potential headache in taking up other dyes or stripping this dye off. Yep, I'm happy with that. So now I have, if you're going to see that on there, but uh, BAD stuck on there with stickers. Okay, so the next step is to strip off the rest of the blue. Now, here we go. Household bleach. Now I'm going to warn you, this is quick. Okay, you want it in, you want to die off as quick as possible and then the piece out and wash. So have your distilled water ready because you don't really want to be leaving bleach on there because it could affect the anodized layer. But uh, right, okay, let's get this blue off, shall we? Ready? Gone. That quick. So you see what I mean? It really doesn't take long to take that off. So I've just given that a nice little rinse there. I'm just gonna take this to the tap and give it a run 
under the tap and get some fresh water on the go on it. Okay, so now we have again a nice silver piece with the stickers I applied earlier and underneath the stickers is the blue because the stickers stop the bleach from touching the blue. Okay, so let me just go grab the black dye. Okay, so on we go. Now, of course, I'm going to leave this in now for the full 20 minutes because I want this as black as black can be. This is the uh, final coat. Okay, so here we go on to the final stage, just sealing the piece now. And uh, what I'm going to do is leave it in here for about 15 minutes until the piece I know is nice and sealed. And then I'm going to remove the stickers and drop it in for another 10 minutes, just in case the stickers have any effects on the anodizing sealing process. Not sure if it does or not, but it's better to be safe and sorry. Almost another 10 minutes at the end of the day. So uh, let's leave this in. We'll get these stickers off, seal it again, and we shall have a look at the results afterwards. Okay, so the part is sealed, and um, yeah, it's good. I like it. It's come out well. So uh, what I've got to do now is get all of this stuff off it. You know, it's, it's this residue which is left after the sealing process. And what I found, or what's my favourite thing for doing it at the moment, is uh, Mr. Maguire's car polish, plastic polish. And uh, it does a really good job because it's a mild abrasive, so it's not damaging, you know. And, uh, you only need a little bit. So let's, uh, without further ado, some of that's on it. There you go. Be generous. Smother it. Both bits. And you got that on. Take your polishing cloth. Just me as an old dust sheet. Give it a good scrub. Okay, so. For this tutorial, I'm going to leave it here. It gives you an idea just how to stick one colour on a piece. Obviously, you can keep doing this multiple times and have multiple colours. I did actually have a piece floating around that's going to show you, but I can't find it. I filed it somewhere. But um, what I've done is I've got some stickers off eBay. I'll show you. Here we go. Stickers, and as you can see, lots of little butterflies. And... Um, what I've done is I done my anodizing and I dyed it blue, put stickers on it, stripped the blue off, put some more, and dyed it red, put some stickers on it, stripped it off, dyed it again, so on and so forth, and just kept repeating the process. And what I ended up with was uh, multicolored butterflies. Um, so yeah, I was actually quite impressed with that. It came out really nice. So yeah, play around, experiment. That's what it's all about anyway. So have a play, and see what you can come up with. So. There you go guys, until next time, and I'll uh, try and show you something different again, but uh, for now, enjoy.